Yes. Well, I don't know why you're so jealous of the buck fifty, Steve. Oh my god. I don't know what this bit is Fable's doing, guys, but uh yeah, we're going to watch this video. I somehow suckered him into watching another video or a few more today. It's no bit, I'm just calling them by his name, it's Steve. No, it's not God, why do you hate your name, Steve? I don't know where this came from. All I did was show him a creature that's close to a maned wolf. Because they all both live in South America and are both very closely looking like each other. And then he's just started calling me Steve. I don't know yes. what's going on. Anyway, let's watch the video, okay? Well, listen, it's his fault, guys. Invented. He's the Instead, one that wanted me to hang out with him. He knows how I am. Meaning that every he should know how I am by now, but no, he still wants to hang out with me. This is on <laughs> him. What did me? I guess it is. I, you can't. You can pick your friends and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. Homemade pistol to a minigun is capable of unleashing Armageddon oh. upon your enemies. In this world, there are only three rules. One, uh, you shoot first, or you don't shoot at all. Uh, Two, yeah. you should always have yes. a backup you're, plan. Uh, you're showing me your uh, oh my god! Overlay oh my god! I can't believe I did. Anyway, yes, it's gun. This is where. There you go. This is where every gun fires a nuke. In case you run out of ammo. And the most important of all is that water gun fights this are now strictly you want to off play limits. Kenshi? What? This is what made you want to play Kenshin? Kenshi? No, no, no. It was a different video we watched earlier with gotcha. my friend Matt. In a post post it's just from the same guy. Such as this, there's only one thing left to do: oh. slavery. If you've ever watched a soot encrusted what? Indonesian man mining sulfur for seven cents a day and thought to yourself, "Damn, love, he's ripping us all off," of then I have news for you: when they because we like are this, the same person. They all tend of that to is to say, I'm a big fan of capitalism, and when it comes to maximizing shareholder value, it's, it's, nowhere it's does it do better than it's just like you, Some people will call this a defunct taken over by erotic cosplay. I mean, no help. I mean, me, him, and Seth all have this, like, monotone voice that we can do at times where we're being official, yes. You know what I must do, Fable. I must attack you with this whip. No, Here's. I know But really, it's do. just a different kind of amusement Steve now. Because we oh have my god! People Another famous Steve! ...using explosive collars. From the moment I saw this eight years ago, I knew it was my destiny to be the CEO of this wonderful business. So that's our goal. Utilize weapons of mass destruction to take over oh. Nuka World and usher you know, in an era of mega I slavery. Can we succeed? About, or uh, will we be stopped by literally anyone really? with a gun? There's huh, only one way so. to tell. But first, I have to watch my wife get shot. Wait, is it gonna be a new? Oh, it, uh, plays out a little differently in this timeline. So what the hell? Son were vaporized in a thermonuclear <laughs> blast. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm but from their ashes, a hero the was born. We escaped the vault and enter into a world the, whose color scheme uh, could best be described as into shock. shades of vomit. You from here, we could go as straight into the world. That's, but we're left that's a mod, by the way. I'm not even kidding. As a paranoid Why is have, that a mod? Whoever, I don't know, but I really don't. It's one of the earlier mods, but. If you ever wanted to shoot baby newts, you can. Dear God. He thinks the government is it's, spying it's on me through his thing, microwave. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> wish I we'll spend a few hours gathering supplies and trying but to... But yeah, uh, Seth has a very similar voice to this guy and also somewhat me if I ever... Because I can do a good inflections in my voice and make it more monotone or less. But some others can't. Level 15, at which point we should be ready. I saunter my way into what I assume is modern day Los Angeles, at which point a cockney robot oh, has to socialize with me. But that's exactly what they I expect me the to do. So instead, was, uh, I jump on top Dark of my neighbor's Souls roof and dive head first into a pool yeah, of I love the Dark Soul sewage. soundtrack. That they use them it sometimes. Our first goal is to find a well, gun, because the power spike from punching things to nuking things is not pretty substantial. After wandering around, I find a dead body with a revolver on it, and upon oh. testing it a out snub on some nose. nearby wildlife, I was both excited and terrified at the world I had Well, created. yeah! I made my way into Concord. a nearby town where you Oh my god, when I saw Concord, I immediately thought of that stupid game. It's brain rot. Isn't it? It is brain rot. That's sadly, that has brain rot in his brother, man. Anyway. 
Moving forward. A group of bandits is fighting with some Minutemen, but now a small group of bandits is committing a nuclear holocaust with some Minutemen. And if you think this is bad, <laughs> you should have seen it before we reduced the explosion. Oh my anyway, god! Apparently assassinating the raiders. This was met with very limited success. <sighs> Eventually, I got tired of role playing as a high altitude weather balloon, so I nuked the bandits and entered the museum to help the Minutemen. Or rather, I tried to enter the museum. Um... Because as dangerous as nuclear warfare is outside, it's ten times worse inside and i got oh, dear God. for about 20 minutes before i finally made it past the front door but by that point i had been ground zero for roughly 35 nuclear i was it not killing themselves as well ringing. my retinas were fried and there was a very distinct possibility of me vomiting all over my keyboard oh, I glad you lowered my the gamma gave me the strength to continue from here i went room by room clearing out the raiders in close quarters combat this is a fantastic way to learn the exact blast radius of a nuclear bomb because if you're uh... off by even in an inch, your limbs will eject from your body oh, like rocket held grenades. Eventually, I made it to Preston Garvey, who wasted no time complaining about how hard his life is. Just wait until he hears about my plans uh, for Nuka World. Preston had oh my God. and equipped this suit of power armor. Yeah. I was feeling what? very confident until a drug fuel maniac popped out from around and just marked it down on your map. Oh my god, no. Corner ...and gave me both barrels of I got so tired of that. ...which has recently intensified in meaning. Oh, I'm glad you're, ti I'm glad you're not tired of it. Honestly, I had a lot of difficulty at this section because the minigun no. takes half a second oh. to spin up. And oh. if the raider happens to squeeze out even a single shot in that time, it's all over. But if no, I've learned anything... definitely be from better watching... if you got the baby mod. That would have been hilarious. Oh my god. He's just trying to spray and pray just before they can possibly hit him because he's still in the suit of power armor so he's moving he's slower this man avoid arrest by drinking his vodka out of an antifreeze bottle what if necessity breeds innovation come to think of it that might have actually just been antifreeze regardless i pioneered a should be dead then. strategy that is the mortar technique instead of shooting oh. at my enemies i just kind of carpet bombed the entire town with how is the game not pillars. dying from this and it Good lord. Really well. From here, I jumped off the roof and did my best to crush Preston like an ant. What are you describing? When that failed, I settled for finishing off the raiders and laughing at the Death Claw's attempt to oh. intimidate me. Following this, I went inside, Preston thanked me, and Mama Murphy gave me the perfect setup for a joke. We're all gonna die eventually. Yep. <laughs> After reloading, we all went to Sanctuary oh, and started drinking That's from something the same you would do, Fable. Because we are now friends. In fact, Probably, Sturgis yeah. asked me if I could build everyone some mm. beds so they didn't have to to sleep underneath bridges and inside of burnt out cars. I looked him Whoa. straight in the eye and said I would do that. Of course, <sighs> I was lying. In fact, I immediately left Sanctuary and never contacted any of these strange people again in my entire life. That's fine. At this point, we're level 3 and I've got a decent selection of guns, but I'd still like to gain access to some better I mean, it doesn't matter what guns you have. World. So I began doing odd jobs around the wasteland. Yeah, First mission, news. a filthy woman wants me Whoa. to go to this place and kill all of these people. No problem. I traveled to the Corvega factory and start using my mortar technique to soften up their defenses. Oh, that's a bit more than softening up. To accidentally nuke myself. <laughs> that's a personal best. Eventually, I make my way inside oh and begin God. atomizing the inhabitants while the building vibrates violently with each shot. <laughs> Luckily, the other raiders can themselves it was just the wind. Earthquake. Now, you might think the best weapon for room clearing would be a shotgun, but you'd be no. wrong. And I found this out the hard way because the spread on a shotgun means it's almost impossible to. To aim it straight and despite your best efforts you will hit either the floor or the ceiling and the resulting blast will almost certainly turn you into a human jigsaw puzzle <laughs> this happened to me more times than i'd like to admit before i begrudgingly filed the double barrel shotgun next to reggie fan meetup in the category what? of things that sound fun but will probably get me killed I also tried hacking into this cute little security robot so he could help me clear out the bandits. He lasted all of three seconds before they murdered him in cold blood. Well, yeah. This was the single it's biggest a mistake the Raiders could have made because his existence was the only thing stopping me from doing this. Oh. I will say he's really good at editing this though. Yes, indeed. The bandits <laughs> were dead. Completing this quest got us to level six and allowed me to unlock the mysterious stranger perk. Oh no, that sounds like a bad idea. Because yes, he does shoot nuclear bombs. <laughs> this was good, but we still have a long way to go. So I well, continued on my quest. He's looking at a VTuber. Being into Fable, he was looking at a VTuber. What does this mean? That VTuber was also Steve. No, that does not mean they were Steve. 
For the love of God, Where's if any Steve of you, Shabby? for the love of God, if any of you in the comments start talking about Steve or any of this, I am going to lose my mind. Uh, comment section, please join me in annoying Mac. It's hilarious. Oh my God! If you're going to annoy me, at least pay me money. No, no, you're no. I don't think I will. I'll get back to the video, Steve. What am I? A fast food worker? Experience points. You can't Whoa. annoy me for free. Went a little like this. I start the day with some training well, we robots. First you shoot them, then you beat them. Eight experience yeah. each. Also, tried my hand at cattle wrangling. I think I'm a natural. A shipyard? Break into a shipyard. It's full of murder crabs. Murder the crabs, then. Now it's not. Apparently, the owner was trying to domesticate them by playing soothing messages on the PA. Uh, it uh, didn't work. That was a lot of effort. Uh, Let's go ahead and take yeah, a rest that for the night never in this gonna old work. building. Never mind. Yeah. The universe hates us, and we've just been ambushed in our sleep by attack I dogs. Got plunged man. the world into like nuclear winter in retaliation. <sighs> After that, I went God to Bunker Hill, it. where I spent 20 minutes marveling That's at right. the ugliest human Anyway, let's keep watching while Fable seen, loses his which mind. Which is strong words coming from someone who looks in the mirror every morning. Yeah, Once I was done, I went to drill and diner to try to negotiate Ooh. peace between some raiders and the store owner. When I told the lady I wouldn't be taking her side, she presented me with a very compelling argument. Huh. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! But you can play at that game. Oh! He got annoyed. Say what you want, but this is the fastest method of de-escalation. Following this, we got a quest to kill everyone inside this preschool. Don't worry, the kids are already dead. We're just killing the raiders. I nuked every room with extreme prejudice, but still died anyway because the whole place is booby-trapped and tripwire guns now fire oh, atomic bombs. Oh, even those! Oh. But it's okay, because we can always retreat to the public bathroom to brew more health potions. Eventually, I find their leader and introduce him to the concept of a glory hole before stuffing his charred corpse in uh, the garbage bin. Okay. Finally, I finish by yeah, releasing all I of his didn't captives, need to hear except that. for you. Someone has to stay behind yeah, to tell the people about door. my good deeds. Yeah. After all that, we're now level 10, and I've even figured kind of out how right to trap bear field. traps, which I have successfully mm -hmm. stressed. He's playing Persona 3 child. music. No, wait, Persona like 4. Let's finish up a few more quests and then go straight to I know this for this is from the original the Persona 4. The absolute girth of this man's biceps I when I was approached by Edward Deegan. Mm -hmm. He took Hello, me to Steve. Cabot House to accept a quest from John Cabot, who wants us uh. to steal some secret serum from a psychotic gentleman living in a shack on top of a hill, that, which is fine. Is However, Andrew John Tate? bears a striking resemblance to What? Was that Andrew Tate or how I think so. that weirdos now? Yeah, I think it was that weirdo. To the Zodiac Killer, oh, and so I wasn't sure if I could trust him. That's why Wait, he's looking for Ted Cruz? Exactly. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Listen, I, listen, we're, we're both from Texas. We can make that joke. Yes, we can. Honestly, I would make it more. But yeah, well, he betrays me. He'll never get this back. And the loss I didn't, of the I, 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 How did I know you were going to make that joke? How did I know? Because I've not, because I've always made fun. Well, okay, I think you heard me talk about it, but every time he's brought up, not a, I don't miss a chance to call him the Zodiac Killer. To be honest, yeah. Ball in an otherwise. There's never a day where I don't take the opportunity to, to call him that because I don't respect him for crap. Establishing no one does. Anyway, I went to the insane guy. Absolutely, no one zero, respects him. An acorn fell on the ground and it spooked me. So I spent <laughs> the next 55 seconds nuking the man's house. Oh! Until I stopped getting hit markers. Uh. I grabbed the vial, went back to Cabot, lied to him, and said the serum was gone before taking what? it out of my inventory, waving it in front of his face, <laughs> and injecting it into my neck just for fun. For good measure, I what also that even do for you? research equipment and stole this fancy camera. Only one more quest to go, then we're off to Nuka World. It's time to go help Paladin dance. I'm over the stroke of my dick, I got lotion on my I rushed to his distress what the fuck? as fast as I could, but upon arriving, it seemed like he had things So you know control. one thing I really like about the Fallout I, universe? I What's that? is how Bethesda kind of has an interesting way of adding Eldritch Horrors to it. Yeah. Because, like, the Lovecraftian, uh, like, uh, inspiration is really well done. It's not in your face, but if you really pay attention, you can kind of see how it does, how it may have come into play with the Great War. And it's kind of scary when you think about it. Yeah, especially with the U.S. literally making monsters like the Deathclaw and also them just mutating into those style of creatures. 
It's horrifying. Mm -hmm. It is. Talk to Dance. Well done, too. To do yeah. Accompany him on a mission to salvage. I do like the Brotherhood of Steel. I've always liked their armor this quest and their was idea. Awful, but I do have a few tips. First of all, you're He's playing more Persona 4 music. Some traders. This is an interesting interaction. I guess he just really loves Persona 4. From a distance. Second, if you hear any variation of the phrase "We've got company," you need to <laughs> run for cover because there is a 90% chance Paladin Dance is about to pivot like LeBron James and nuke the shit out of you for being within 20 feet of a bloat fly. <laughs> If and when you do finally make it to the destination, the synths inside are very dangerous, so I recommend a tactical approach, such as watching through a sheet of plexiglass as Paladin Dance does all the hard work. Also, when you get to the basement, don't forget to accidentally melt off Dance's face with his rocket exhaust. Trust me, Aren't you he supposed to do that? It. After that, you just go upstairs, yeah, grab the tech, that's and it's all over. It's not to a great... Do. God damn it. Bless uh. you, Steve. No. Quest, but it does give us the junk okay, kit, which is some kind of pneumatic oh catapult for weaponizing random garbage. While it doesn't fire atomic bombs, it does allow me to kill my opponents by cracking them in the forehead with dirty cigarette trays, which is something that resonates with me deeply. I think that's why everyone likes a junk thrower. With maxed out luck, a few helpful perks, and a new rifle that has a 50 round drum uh, mag along with a bayonet. There was the uh, there was the but weapon in Fallout 3. I don't remember exact it, name, but it essentially was... it worked just like the junk thrower. Yeah. Yeah. It was was basically the junk drawer too. To warn you about something. Well, it was really cool. Though. People at Makeship have infiltrated my apartment, stolen my genetic material, and created uh, hundreds of clones of me that are conveniently oh, no. the correct size and shape to fit inside of a mason jar. But you wouldn't do that to me, right? Anyway, uh, for a limited time, we're going to be selling these Reggie plushies, and I highly right. recommend picking one up. I but don't Reggie, know. What can I use this why do you for? need to make well, your jokes? Well, I like jokes. to use mine as my own personal hostage. This mine's funny and He's not uncomfortable. Small, which makes him very easy to overpower. Sometimes I also like to Unless lay the big knife in front of his face. It feels like a sense of control. Oh my god. Anyway, tell us why you're, why you're, why you're, why you're Steve's making let's, let's just focus on him talking about his new plushies he's unleashed upon the world. Only I can't hide what's inside. Me my elaborate war dances Steve. as I prepare to take his life. But if oh. that's not exactly your style, he also makes a pretty good stress ball. So you've got 30 oh. days to take me I want to push you up my plushie design. You guys can't see it right now, but... link in the comments. It's usually in my room. Then prepare yourself. It's a design, it's not an actual plushie yet, but... Transit Center with determination because right. from here we can take a tram to the amusement park. The only thing stopping us is a small uh, army of bandits, robots, and rooftop snipers. Comment section. I know we don't get along all the time, but I have my own plushie. It's adorable. Before I settled on just firing 30 nukes into the sky and hiding in a parking garage, I just wanted to bring it up because I love it. <laughs> you love the comment section. No, no, I, I love my plushie. The comment section, and I don't get along all the time. Yes, he has his mm. own plushie. It was knitted for him and crocheted. Made my way down to the tram, mm, where this it. guy was telling me raiders had taken his family hostage at oh. Nuka World. Apparently, he escaped but was shot in the process. But the fact he didn't have a single drop of blood anywhere on his body led me to believe this man was a liar. So I politely excused myself, loaded up my junk jet with steel ingots, and then came back and pulverized his heart with a high-velocity metal slug. Now his story about being wounded is a lot more believable. After this, I jumped on the tram and it took me to the promised land. I arrived and it was beautiful. A voice came over the speaker and told me two things. One, I'm trapped. And two, okay. the only way to escape is to survive the gauntlet. I've only used, gotten one DLC for Fallout 4. Oh my god. I don't know what that was from and I really don't want to know. Bodies of several half-eaten male prostitutes. You are not gonna so acknowledge it. And say my chances aren't great, I said I don't know what that's job. from. Room one, a large lobby full the, of rusty. What he did? Or if the what came from oh, the you made. Oh, you are looking away for a second. Don't worry about it. Machine gun turrets firing okay. nukes definitely <laughs> will. Also, the ceilings are very low, which makes it easy for you to blow yourself up. You can't so go back to the past bats. samurai jack. Even if your chance to hit is low, it doesn't really matter, matter because atomic oh. bombs are more of a to whom it may concern type weapon anyway. Well, yeah. After that, it's on to room two. This room was supposed to be armed with several booby traps. However, the nuclear detonation we unleashed on the last room seems to have spilled over and disabled most of them. The key word Good. being most. 
Oh! After reassembling my body parts, I moved to room 3, which presented us with three doors to choose from. Door 2 oh no. was a room full of human heads, which appear to have been decapitated in the middle of nutting, while door 3 <laughs> contained a bouquet of live grenades. I'm flattered. I mean, that's Escaping not nearly as bad as it could be. Us to a radiation room, which was giving me 60 rads per second. Oh, in order dear to God. avoid developing stage 4 Only League of Legends, 60. I took a near lethal Ugh. dose of radiation oh my medication God. and Junior, ran around in a down. fugue state until I found the keys to escape. Listen, there's there's literally some places in the Fallout games that give you more than 60. I know. Oh, that, don't that's baby. Overgrown right rats, because they will not hesitate to put you down. After this was a tunnel full of landmines. Sprint through it at top speed and across this definitely up to code wooden bridge. Uh oh, it collapsed, and you're now being attacked by shellfish. Assert terrestrial dominance before proceeding to the hardest room of all, the gas chamber. It's oh. here where we get locked into a room which is quickly filling with phosphine gas. If we okay, don't get through this door you're in going the next to 30 seconds, we'll be dead. So here's the plan. Take a bunch of drugs to numb the pain of your lungs being dissolved. Stab uh. these bugs while making sure to fill your pockets with their succulent meat for later. And then hop on this computer and open the escape door. That leads us to a shed full okay. of flying ants, which are surprisingly difficult to hit with a nuke. The torture of this that room is, is a little surprising. more abstract, but it's very real nonetheless. Then quickly run through this cage area while people shoot at you from above. Just kidding. Oh. You can't do this quickly and you're going to die at least a I, dozen times. I but thought after, for a minute there the mod wasn't working on them, but no, it still is. After that, we're finally at the last stage of the gauntlet. See that guy down there in the power armor covered in blood? Yeah, we're going to fight him and he's invincible. Oh. We have a secret weapon. It's not a high power rifle or even a rocket launcher instead Ugh. our secret weapon is a plastic water gun the plan in theory is that our enemy is receiving power to his suit from this exposed electrical line and if which we is insane in water well that probably wouldn't be very good all right let's give it a shot they counted us does down it just fire gates, a nuke though at which point i charged head first into my opponent i guess he not. responded by blowing off all of my <laughs> limbs with a nuclear bomb clearly we need a different approach the guy yeah. is actually invincible, but I found out that I can stay in the starting area and snipe him with the water gun to disable his armor. Then I followed up with like 20 nukes to finish him off. Following oh, this, a God. lot of exposition happens, but I'm going to summarize it really quickly. That guy we just electrocuted? Yeah, he was the CEO of Nuka World. And the raiders that live here seem to put a lot of respect on violently murdering your political opponents. So Sounds they now recognize right. me as their leader. This is fantastic, and it comes with a lot of perks. For example, I I now live at the peak of Fizz Top Mountain with a lovely view over This is all so of my strange employees. to take over a <laughs> You are now one of my elite employees. What also, the hell is the that boss, from? I also, uh, I legitimately don't know. It is kind of weird that a bunch of uh, raiders took over an amusement park the of market, all things. Steal things right out of the display case and then sell them back to the shop owner yeah. for free money. The downside is that because the amusement parks don't really have a lot of things of value being under our control. besides so it's our have job being a roof over your head. parks directly into my authoritarian governance. Then, oh. once we have them, we can distribute them to the different raider factions according to which of their political philosophies I find the most amusing. So it's time to go meet the gangs operating out of Fizz Top okay. Mountain is the Disciples, which is a faction that couldn't be any edgier even if they were actively pulverizing the elderly in a hydraulic press. This is strangely juxtaposed against the fact that they don't know how many belts you can wear before people stop taking you seriously. Overall, and lots of sharp edges. The oh my god, Fable! The they look like the Dark Eldar. You ruined it, Steve. You ruined uh, Fallout. Oh my god. Making money at the cost just, of human life, I don't want to be your friend anymore, Steve. I, philosophy. I, I'm leaving and taking half of the chat. Which precludes them you from can't take half of the channel. You didn't have any full access. Know exactly why, but you know what? You're right. I'll take all of the channel. Angry, and I'm, I'm kicking you out, Steve. Smart from killing them. Fortunately, oh, I found well. a good compromise. Instead Wait, of creating so a civil didn't kill war them all? by nuking their entire faction, I just swing by every few days, find a random operator, and secretly deposit a live grenade in his pocket. Whoa, whoa. Oh! Lastly, well, that the works. Pack. They have a relatively experimental aesthetic, along with a nice yeah, selection yeah. of chairs. But whenever you want to talk to their leader, you're going to be... What'd you say? I was talking out loud. I was, uh... I was... Since everyone's going to Blue Sky, I was just doing an introduction post. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to go over there too. The problem is my old, uh, 
I don't remember my password, and I sent it to my email, and they're Force not the going to my email. To the bite.mp3 sound effect for hours on end, because they installed a dog oh. bite pit in the middle of their base. This immediately and irrevocably disqualifies them from receiving any further attention from me whatsoever. Oh, well then. With introductions out of the way, it's time to start expanding mm -hmm. our operation one and making and some big money. Just There's five another. parks to acquire. Galactic World, Dry Rock Gulch, Safari Adventure, the Nuka-Cola Bottling Plant, and Kitty Kingdom. First up is Galactic World. <gasps> this is a space Cats. themed park inhabited no, by- No, it's for kids, Fable. For kids. Oh. Oh. All right, I lost interest. I'll see you tomorrow. Hundreds of robots. Oh my God. However, someone spilled their Dr. Bye, Pepper Steve. on the AI mainframe, and it caused Ugh. the robots to become violent murder machines. It's oh. not great for business, so I went there and started You'll fighting my way through the streets. The first thing I noticed was that there's plenty of laser turrets all over the premises. Luckily, they don't seem to work very well, and usually spend their entire time in a life-or-death battle against the ceiling. However, Good. don't get too comfortable, because on oh. at least one occasion, the air pressure from these explosions caused my cranium to detonate forcefully. Oh, that, just keep an eye out for Mr. Frothy, who is very fast. Mr. And Frothy will startle you into jumping off a bridge and subsequently dying in a nuclear explosion. Oof. Anyway, I made my way to the control room where oh, I'm able power to turn armor. off the robots. Only problem, it's broken and it needs a total of 20 star cores to repair it. Unfortunately, Why? they're scattered all over the park in the safekeeping of several automatons that would like to crush my neck like so a can of soda. So the problem with like Nuka World, in my honest opinion, is it just, it felt more like, it felt like, uh, it was a cool idea, I guess, in a weird way that you could literally become... That you could take over a bunch of raiders and become their and become their overlord slash boss or whatever. That's a cool idea if this game actually gave you the ability to be evil. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because because yeah. Fallout Four gets rid of the karma system. It's literally like, I mean, we you can be evil, but you're not really evil. We don't like. That. <laughs> it's it's, it's kind of stupid, actually. Yeah. Straining order, I viewed this as a challenge rather than a problem. Do you really think I can't get within a hundred feet of you? So I began wandering around looking for these cores, which led me to a building called the Robco Battle Zone. My hopes of this name being metaphorical were quickly dashed when upon entering I died about 37 different times. Part of the issue is that the mini nuke mod isn't working perfectly on the robots, and some of them are shooting me with laser beams oh! while my supple I body is happen. perfectly optimized for dying dying in nuclear explosions, it does very little to protect me against this space age technology. But just like how mm. the lifeguards at the YMCA can't stop me from drinking the pool water, what? the robots couldn't stop me from blasting my way into the battle zone. At which point I was promptly locked inside and forced to uh. fight a variety of enemies which entered from these doors and these hydraulic platforms. Okay, so the how robots do you... were tough, but the primary difficulty in this cramped space is not was blowing yourself. a place to detonate a nuke that wouldn't instantly vacate vaporize me. First, we had to survive some protectrons and a swarm of iBots. No problem. Then it was on to the Novatrons. Even easier. Then our final opponent was the Space Sentry. Okay. Oh no! Yeah, he uh... He got the better of me. But as the saying goes, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I'll obliterate you with nuclear <laughs> weapons. And we did just that. I the love that. He just Oppenheimer. has a... Oppenheimer. Yeah, that was a picture of Oppenheimer, the man that helped create the nuclear bomb during the Manhattan Project. Gathered all the space cores and moved on to the next building, the Interstellar Theater. Surely a fucking theater can totally be as dangerous that. as I was the there battle zone. I no, you weren't. I'm a fae, I have long jeopardy, don't you judge me and tell me where I was or was not during the events of World War II. I will. Myself. But boy, was I wrong. Very, very, very wrong. The entire auditorium was full of robots, and honestly, I was only able to conquer this area through the repeated use of a strategy I like to call kill one guy and then save the game. Mm. While searching for the star cores, I found a Nuka-Cola mixing station, which allowed me to combine a Nuka-Cola beer with another Nuka-Cola beer to create okay. a double beer. Some people <laughs> double claim beer. that AI and vaccines are the greatest Don't advancements tell of the past century, crazy. but to that 
chat, yes, I asked, he will. can you get drunk on polio vaccines? What? I didn't think so. That's why double beer is the real scientific pinnacle of our generation. After completing my schizophrenic monologue about he alcohol, would his I mind would explode. He can't comprehend a, a double beer. Junkies in the washroom. Very nice. The last building wasn't as bad. Vault Tech For those who don't know, we know a drunken platypus VTuber. The Stars is yeah. a recreation vault life experience, outfitted with realistic living rooms, indoor gardens, and even an entire room dedicated to giving oh, you cancer. Gosh, I'm feeling really nostalgic already. Annoying. Strangely, I you don't have to annoy Cars every time he's streaming. As my character progressed That's my in this job. area, he was getting recurring headaches. I chalked Steve, it up to a brain to tumor and thought nothing of it. But oh it turns God. out the whole vault was actually just one giant experiment in subliminal messaging. According to this uh, observation log, they're broadcasting a high frequency over the PA that's meant to induce degenerate behavior such as pissing your pants. Jokes on them. The they hell? just wasted millions of dollars to make me do so. Dear God, Vault Tech is so awful. Thing that I was already going to do anyway. Following oh. this, I slaughtered a bunch of automatons, found a really nice shotgun, immediately flashed back to all of those times I killed myself with a shotgun, and then quickly unequipped it before finding the remaining star cores and rushing back to the mainframe. With the help of computer scientist extraordinaire and definitely not dead person <laughs> Kendall Alston, I was able How to repair you... the computer and pass oh, it all of the AI. Along. Meaning we can now walk around the park without having to worry about a medical robot electrifying our testicles. Good. Subjugated, I went upstairs and raised a flag to officiate the conquest of Galactic World. Our empire is expanding, and the next theater of war is the Wild West. Dry Rock Gulch is an arid wasteland inhabited primarily by dead bodies, which should okay. make it an easy target. So I made my way there and quickly realized where all the dead bodies came from. Because within moments of arriving, I was attacked by subterranean blood oh. worms. Oh, yeah, well, that's not too bad. These bastards tunnel around underground and then ambush you when you least expect it. Which means they're either underground, so you can't kill them, or they're firmly latched onto your jugular vein oh. in such a way that so you can't kill them either your bomb seem a little too risky. In this case, yeah. I recommend treating the entire area as a high-stakes game of The Floor is Lava. Oh, play it like you're in, uh, Eventually, I came down to chat with the sheriff, Tremors. who informed me that he'll give us the park if we can get rid of the bandits coming out of this building. One problem, the building is locked, and I need combination codes from the Giddy Up Kid, one Eye Dyke, and Phosphorus oh, Pete wonderful. to gain entry. I really wish he told me this before I carpet bombed the entire park. Oh, are they dead? I'm pretty sure I killed all of those people. This was an irritating development, but my anger quickly faded after the sheriff appointed me as his deputy and gave oh me my this God. excellent cowboy outfit. Upon reloading the save, I found the giddy up kid who explained that some cattle rustlers had stolen his loyal steed, and he wants me to bring it back. In case you're wondering, he's talking about an inanimate object. But it was like uh. 4 a.m. at this point in the recording, <laughs> so I just played along with it. Rustle okay. up some horses for you, huh, cowboy? I'll be back before sundown. I searched the grounds. I, I don't know how to feel about this being a Texan, but yeah. 13 seconds before finding the torso of a giddy up buttercup stuffed inside this man's anal cavity. I grabbed uh. it and dropped its dismembered body inside the horse pen. Our friend was mildly dismayed. What happened to giddy up buttercup? They butchered her up like but he still gave us his part of the combination code, That's so I don't really care. Sad. Next, I sauntered into a saloon where I met Phosphorus Pete. He wants us to deliver some Nuka Cola to the residents of Dry Rock Gulch. No problem. The people of Dry Rock Gulch. And before you ask, oh yes, all of the people we delivered soda to were in fact dead bodies, which I made sure to tell Pete. I'm afraid everyone's dead. Well, that ain't. Good. Doesn't matter though. <laughs> the quest is done, and Pete rewarded us with his code, along with a large quantity of alcoholic Nuka Cola, which I quickly became Don't addicted tell. to. From here, I sought out Alcoholism. one Ike to complete our final test, which, much to my dismay, would be a duel at 10 paces. Ike oh. gave me a 44 Magnum and started counting down, but unfortunately, I was still stunlocked by the idea that an amusement park mascot was programmed to hand out loaded revolvers to <laughs> yeah, children what the hell? shooting them, which resulted in Ike getting the better of me. Second attempt at the duel, I won, but I won a little too hard, and Ike wasn't alive to give me his code. Third time's the charm. For this, I decided to swap to the junk jet, and after blasting Ike in the head with a steel ingot and an empty beer bottle, he conceded defeat and gave me the final piece of code. Now we can enter this mine shaft, destroy the bloodworm queen, and claim Dry Rock Gulch. Honestly, this part was pretty easy. There's really only two things you need to do. One, make sure you break into the office so you okay. can equip this cool duster and pretend you're playing an actually good 
Fallout game. Oh and god damn. Should go without... That was a hell of a burn for the game you're playing right Same, now. But do not jump in the pit full of dead cows, because they'll erupt with dozens of blood worms, and it makes for a very stressful experience. Other I than can that, tell. I just nuked everything inside and completed the quest. Not too bad. Hmm. After Safari the flag, Adventure. We're all done at Dry Rock Gulch. It and sounds terrifying. Target, Safari Adventure. I approached the park and observed a man doing battle oh. with a large creature. I chased the crocodile it man. shooting it with three nukes, Gator Claw. all of which it survived. This was oh, not yeah, a good the sign. Florida anyway, version of the crocodile man. Yeah, that sounds um, even worse. Somehow. Since I had assumed he was some kind of male stripper, meant to appeal to the female fantasy of being bludgeoned to death with a sledgehammer. <laughs> but actually, he's just a caveman who was raised by gorillas, which is what? marginally more believable. His name is Sido, and he used his caveman dialect to explain that Safari Adventure is overrun with gator claws that are being cloned okay. in a big triangle house. And I need to disable the cloning machine to claim the Why would they I be being cloned? I considered putting a revolver in my mouth as a preferable alternative. <laughs> uh, uh, I've never played Neutral World, but I think to my understanding, during the Great War, a scientist was working on trying to make another weapon, and I think Gator Claws were created because of, of that. Brain power oh. forcibly enunciate keep, the word keep in mind, facility, everything related to Fallout 4 and uh, Fallout uh, 74, 76. my brain, my brain just goes numb. So, yeah, yeah, don't, worry. Thank you. don't worry. It, it goes numb. I, I, I can't. Facility. So I set out searching for a uh. key to the triangle house, and thankfully the gators weren't much of a problem. I mean, I wonder why, use, which was a pretty big deal right off the bat. However, they are very tanky, so just use literally any gun that goes full auto, and you should be absolutely fine. Dear In Lord, fact, if you want to make it especially simple, you can just go to the top <laughs> of this treehouse and firebomb the entire map. Honestly, I think the hardest battle I had here was against my alcoholism that I had acquired in Dry Rock Gulch. Eventually, I found the key, let myself into the cloning facility, and started clearing it out. I felt kind of guilty for slaughtering all these dumb animals with nuclear weapons, so I thought um, I'd try fist fighting one of them just to get my anger levels back up again. It worked like a charm. Anyway, I blasted some gators, hacked into this computer, and turned off the cloning device. I told Cito the good news, and he was good. so excited that he gifted me a rocket propelled aluminum bat that presumably he has engineered himself uh how what i am clear on is that the park now belongs to us on that note okay. let's go to the fourth park the nuka cola bottling plant ah uh, an industrial complex what the hell which, judging by the automated turrets and unmarked minefields was probably run by jeff bezos <laughs> there's also a little section called that the world of refreshments right. which i spent some time exploring there's one man i would never want to work for i mean i was pulverizing crustaceans to death with a baseball bat back outside i was feeling a little guilty about the power disparity between myself and the crabs so i decided to handicap myself by asserting my vertebrate dominance with nothing but a flare gun this was a oh massive boy. mistake because out of the lake emerged the Queen Mire Lurk, and uh, oh. she's pretty tough. Yeah. A hit with the nuke does about 10% damage, and sometimes uh, get she the likes to one. spit acid on me and melt off all of my skin. And as if that wasn't bad enough, she has a whole harem of Mire Lurk kings to chase me down and pay oh. the shit out of me while I'm reloading. However, <laughs> I navigated this problem by applying my universal solution, and which that was is? to take a lot of drugs and run really, really fast. This helped create oh, great. the distance, plan. which allowed me to pick off the ads before circling back Sounds in slow motion good. nuking the Queen Mire Lurk to cool. an early retirement. I cannot imagine how embarrassing it must be to have your entire colony destroyed by this dickhead. But luckily, she won't I mean, have to there are worse ways to go. She's dead, and the bottling plant nukes. is now ours. On to the next target. I'm surprised they weren't, you this know, like the called uh, Kitty Nuka King Cola, as a professional like, or something like Nuka Cola th Mire Lurk, because that was a thing in 3. I think they were, we were just... We just didn't look YouTuber at it long enough. Who owns a copy of Minecraft? This could be the most dangerous park of them all. What Previously the hell? a children's theme park with several I rides get that and reference. I hate the fact that I do. Gas I hate chamber, the fact that I do as well. With fumes being pumped into oh, the area okay. at regular intervals. Also, it's inhabited by hundreds of feral ghouls, which are relatively easy to kill. However, they close That's distance good. very quickly, and melee combat has become substantially more hazardous. To be honest, I don't like the designs of the ghouls. Sometimes shows up. I mean. Or, 
Yeah, I prefer them more from three and, you know, New Vegas. The only upside is that I have yeah. this cryogenic shoulder pad, which sometimes uh, freezes my enemies solid. At which oh, point, nice. I can take my time in knocking off all of their limbs with a baseball bat. Anyway, our goal here is to defeat Oswald the Outrageous and seize control oh. of the park. He's hiding somewhere, and I decided to start my search in the fun it's house. A Upon entering, we had to navigate one. a labyrinth of mirrors, which was fairly uh, easy because none of the mirrors scary. were reflected. The Reavers were instead, scary. They were coated in several the layers nerf. of dried ejaculant. Oh, I remember. I can't believe I stopped there. But yeah, I remember the Reavers. They were annoying to fight. However, while I was marveling yeah. at the artisanal craftsmanship of the mirrors, I failed to notice the several landmines scattered about the floor. After limping my way through the maze, I spot Oswald in this control room. I ah. attempt to get closer, and he throws a grenade at me. What a dick. From here, I engage in what was either high-level platforming or low-level astronaut training <laughs> before entering the hallway of hypnosis. I won't lie, this part was actually mildly disorienting. In fact, at one Seems point, like I it. had to use a dead guy just to confirm I wasn't actually hallucinating. I fumbled <laughs> my way through this section and into a spinning room with about two dozen doors all around it. One door led to that thing that happens when you open OBS. Another oh. presented us with the illusion of a happy family. And of course, there was the classic room full of flamethrowers positively delightful yeah this kind of thing usually happens when you oswald had already escaped this kind of thing usually happens when you enter a fun house in a video game so i moved on to search for him in king cola's castle oh. never mind it turns out the park has more traps than i thought not the least of which are the amusement rides themselves in what? fact i have personally witnessed several park employees being killed <laughs> maimed or otherwise dismembered by the rides here and it's only been like 20 minutes of course i had to try this for myself with the roller coaster carts oh and i realized that it's a lot like boxing when you expect to get oh. hit it doesn't do that much damage but it's the punch you don't see coming that will decimate you <laughs> after this i strolled around the park a bit more killing ghouls and rummaging through garbage bins until I wandered my way into some employee tunnels. I sprinted through the tunnels like a wild animal, at which point I found Oswald talking to one of his staff members uh, in his office. Naturally, how I wanted is he to doing? return the grenade he had thrown at me earlier. This did not work, oh. and I felt like an idiot. So I just kind of took that one on the chin. But it wasn't all bad, because after Oswald disappeared in a puff of smoke, I went into the office and found my next stylistic evolution. Oh yeah, this is gonna work just fine. Alright, well hell? that does it. There's only one place left for Oswald wall to be hiding the theater i broke in with all the grace of a homeless drug addict and started <laughs> talking with oswald he was trying to convince me that he has magical abilities and he said he was going to show me one of his greatest tricks no then you're just a crazed me. glowing one cool the head and ran away truly a master of the mystical arts i followed him up to the roof where he gave me some shitty story about being a sympathetic villain but at this point i, was I so kind tired of doubt of that. chasing him around the park and getting hit by roller coasters <laughs> that i opted for immediate violence in response oswald unleashed his most powerful magic trick of all <laughs> crashing my game what Three minutes later, we were back, and the fight was on. Oh, wow. Oswald was much higher level than me, and he had a grand time cutting off my limbs with his fancy sword. However, I managed to counter this by simply jumping over a railing, at which point oh. he could no longer stab me. His method of coping with this was to bathe me in Molotov cocktails, but they don't Sounds hurt that right. much, and I've got enough drugs to stay up here for weeks. I am aware that this tactic borders on cheating, so I'm prepared to negotiate. Instead of well. staying up here and nuking Oswald into oblivion, I will instead empty out the entire contents of my junk section into the junk jet and kill Oswald with the physical manifestations of my hoarding disorder. <laughs> this included everything from light bulbs to rolls of duct tape, but the primary ingredient was 156 stacks of pre-war money, which oh, I spent wow. the next 20 minutes bouncing off Oswald's head. This was very enjoyable, this seems albeit painful. not especially effective. You're giving him a very Oswald slow seems death to legitimately be death. invincible. I shot him with 200 junk items. He barely noticed. Ran him into six fragmentation mines. He walked it off. How, why and is even he still when alive? I got desperate enough to nuke him, he would just reset his health bar. This what kind the of hell? freaked me out, so I panicked and shot him like 50 times. Ghouls, at which point I realized I mean, he wasn't damaged. Ghouls tend to off radiation. I don't know. I know ghouls can heal faster due to radiation, but that's a bit much, Ooh, even for damage resistant. And a now he's, he's a legendary. Stole his he's clothing a, in he's order a legendary to Charlie one, in the Chocolate Factory oh cosplay, and quickly raised the flag on Kitty Kingdom, indicating our complete conquest over Nuka World. All that's left to do is to go to the power station and press the big red button to finally power up the park. And just like that, oh. we are the CEO of the world's finest slavery-themed amusement park, oh which gives God. us quite a few benefits. For example, all of the rides are now operational. 
cool. <laughs> and I can't confirm this, but it is my personal headcanon that we're receiving our electricity from a small armada of slaves running on hamster wheels. <laughs> oh also, my God. we can even gather up a gang of raiders and go out into the Commonwealth to That's recruit more employees at least nice. through what I like to call competitive hiring That's practices. at least interesting. So now that we've achieved our primary Not goal, really. what's left for us? I know. Well, according to mustache it's enthusiast something. Christopher Vogler, the final stage of the hero's journey is to return home as a changed man. In our case, yeah. that would be sanctuary, and as a matter of fact, I am oh. a changed man. Because whatever final thread of sanity had previously prevented me from killing all of these people has finally been severed. Oh no. Well, they're all gone, Fable. What do you think about all this? Um, some of them are you are um they call it essential, so even if you blow them up, they're not gonna die. Yeah, like Preston right there. He refuses to die. I know because I've done plenty of parts Heck, where now that, Heck, now that World War Seven's well, done, we need over. to go we help a settlement on Mark the Down no. ever no. was nuclear bombs. Like, I wanna thank this month's patrons for supporting the channel. Don't forget to check out Makeshift to purchase and abuse my likeness. And finally, thank you for watching. So You're what? not well. Oh my god, what'd you think of that, Fable? Yeah, it seems about right, I, I guess. That's your average, uh, Fallout, uh... Well... <laughs> that's your average Fallout game. Well, you have to find your own ways to make your own fun in that game specifically, let's be honest. But yes, thank yeah. all of you for stopping by. If you like what we're doing here, please do follow, like, comment on what you want us to watch next, and we'll see you later. Any last words, Fable? Uh, like I always tell, like I always tell, uh, every time, be good people, guys. Just, uh, just be good people. Life is scary lately. The least you mm -hmm. can do is just be nice. Alright, and we'll or see Or at least you. respectful. See y'all later. Bye. Yeah.